Hi guys, Heather with Feather Bear. Thanks for tuning in. Um, I'm gonna wait just a second here, make sure everything, all the electrical stuff is working properly before I dig right in. Get a quick um, view here, make sure my comments are working and then we are good to go. All right, you guys, thank you so much for popping in today. I know this was supposed to be done yesterday. Um, we had some technical difficulties. I won't get into that, but it is what it is. We are doing it today and I'm super excited about it because the bear shaped glitter is one of my favorites and I never see it used. So that means a couple things here. Either you guys don't know that it's a thing or you're afraid to use it. You're intimidated by it. You've Maybe you've had a bad experience. Maybe you've had issues with it. So we're going to get rid of all of that today. Like we're going to show it to you. We're going to show you how to work with it. We're going to show you how to troubleshoot some issues that come up. I intentionally made a cup that has issues so that I can show you guys how to fix it. So this will be a fun one. Hi, hi, hey. Thank you so much, Cheryl. Thank you. All right. So quick disclaimer here. You guys will notice my overhead lights are off. Um, I'm having some conflicting issues with the lighting in certain parts of my studio. So for now, I'm gonna leave those overheads off so that it's not so bright behind me so that the lighting that I have on the cups isn't challenged from lighting around the room. If that ends up being a problem, we'll just flick those on, no big deal. Hi, Renee. The screen that I am viewing comments from is over here. So if you guys see me over here looking, that's because I'm looking and seeing what you guys are saying. All right, so it looks like the comments are coming through good. Great, great, great. All right, so we're gonna get right into it. I'm super, super excited about this. The first thing I'm gonna do is go over what we're using. So I'm gonna talk, while I'm talking to you about what we're using, I'm gonna leave you right here so I can look at you. And then I'll point you guys down at the cups that we're working on. So the glitters that we are using for this cup are Rhea. Make sure you guys can see that. Ooh, that lid's not on. Iris. And Cersei. So if you guys aren't familiar with these films, I know that's gonna be a little hard to see. It'll be easier to see when I point you down. This is a white glitter, but it has a green to teal to purple shift on it that is easily my top favorite film that we offer. And because of that, we offer it in every single cut and every single size that is available for it all the way down to ultra fine. So what I did is I took these three because these three here being the same exact film, one is the 0.008, one is the 0 0.015, and one is the 0 0.025. So the small, medium, and then a little bit larger, but none of these are chunky. They're all either extra fine or fine in that category. I mixed equal parts of these, and I did that for a couple reasons. I wanted the coverage on the cup to be really, really uniform, but a little bit dimensional. And mixing three different sizes of glitter gives you just that, using the same film in a few different sizes gives you that look. It gives you like a really textured kind of look without complicating the overall design. So I did equal parts of each one of these. It was like a scoop of each one. It doesn't have to be exact because they are the same film. And I just mixed them up into just a little cup here. Let me see if I can, nope, you're not gonna be able to get a good view of that. This isn't a good cup to view anyways, because it's not a clear cup, it's kind of foggy. So trust me, you'll be able to see on the cups I have down here. Now for the bears, we are using Aurora Berealis, which is the same film as Circe, Rhea, and Iris. Let me see if I can get that to stay on my finger. Well, that's gonna be hard for you to see. The same film, but it is a, a little bear. That's super difficult to see. <laughs> They're beautiful, trust me. And then the other bear shape that we're using is Sugar Bears. 
And Sugar Bears is a silver holographic in the bear shape. Let me see if I can get one of these guys on my finger. Oh, yeah. It's on there, but it's super hard for me to get it to focus. So you guys can see how small these are, but you can catch every single detail in them. So we're going to be using both of those. And what I did with those is same thing. I took equal parts, just a little scoop of each, and just mixed them up in a cup. All right. Cheryl, is it having issues? Is anyone else having issues before I get into the cup part of this? All right, I'm gonna swap the view here. So the first cup that we're going to do is going to be applying the base coat of glitter. Okay. So it might be an individual user type thing. Some people might be having issues, internet lag and whatnot. Um, so I have a white base here. Um, this was a stainless steel cup. This is a 30 ounce modern curve from the stainless steel. If you're curious what cup this is from the stainless steel depot. I did sand it really, really good and I spray painted it white. And I'm using a white base because I want the glitter color to pop off of that white base. So let me get this turned on here. I am going to be using Fast Set Epoxy in order to apply my glitter layer. I, that's my preferred method of applying a layer of glitter. So that is the epoxy I'll be using. I'm going to mix that epoxy up really quick. I don't do that ahead of time. You guys can see there is one little epoxy dot on there because when I was doing the other cups, I dripped, so I just left it. I'm going to switch it back over here to the higher view because <laughs> I'm going to mix up some epoxy really quick, and I don't want it to be awkward with you guys having to stare at the cup. You don't need very much epoxy in order to apply glitter. Just enough to create a nice adhesive layer on the cup. There's no measurements there they are. Oh my goodness, why is this coming out so slow? <laughs> it's painful. And then I globbed it, so now I have to make it even. So this is why I keep molds nearby and different items where I can pour the epoxy into. Because over pour happens. But having equal measurements is super duper important. Okay, so let's put this hair up. Mm. <laughs> they're a Madden girl. I got them at Ross. They're just little rhinestone Birkenstocks and they're coating glitter. <laughs> so we're gonna put the hair up so that I don't get it in epoxy because that would be bad. Oh, thank you, Patty. Oh, wait. You're talking about the fact that there aren't any um, technical glitches. I'm still gonna take it as a compliment. That is a Glowforge, but that's for another day. Okay, so I have my little cups here of epoxy and I'm going to mix those in to a little cup really quick. 
I'm not going to waste any time with this. Excuse my sniffles. Anyone else getting attacked by the pollen? I think it's out to get us this year, legitimately. We're having some major bipolar weather here in Northern California. Or it'll be like 85 degrees and hot and sunny and beautiful. And then the next day it's like 47 and pouring down rain. It just doesn't make any sense to me, but it is what it is. <laughs> I always forget to put my hair up, to be honest with you. Like I forget almost every single time to put my hair up. Uh, I'm pretty good at keeping it out of the epoxy, but I have for sure had to work tirelessly to remove epoxy from my hair. So thank you, Patty. <laughs> okay, so I'm just whipping up epoxy while I'm stirring this, making sure it's thoroughly mixed. I'm just gonna make sure I'm not missing any comments. Another little disclaimer, you guys, uh, if you weren't able to go in ahead of time and grant permissions to StreamYard, it doesn't show me your name when you're commenting to me. I can see your comment. I just can't see who's leaving the comment. So if I don't reply to you and you think I should like know who you are and know details, then um, it's because I can't see your name. It's not because I don't love you. because Facebook has you incognito. Okay. All right, I think we're whipped up good here. I'm gonna glove up. Because I apply epoxy with a gloved finger, with my hands, with a gloved finger, never with your naked hand, because that's a bad deal. That's why I'm putting the gloves on. It is a chemical, you do need to protect your skin. And if you're doing this in your own home, I highly recommend doing the research for the proper PPE, masks, respirators, different types of uh, air purifiers. All of that is necessary when you're working with epoxy. So please, if you're new to this and you're just seeing this for the first time, please do your research on proper PPE before you start working with epoxy. Do as I say, not as I do. For sake of the tutorial, I cannot put a respirator on my face. I am, Juanita, I'm live in four places. That's the, the new deal with this setup is I can be live in four places. Okay. So I'm gonna swap you guys around here. I'm going to move my comment finder out of the way there so I can make sure I don't knock anything over. All right, you guys can see that okay, right? I'm going to get rid of one of these lights because I don't need it. That's good. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Okay, so here we are now. I'm gonna go ahead and put the epoxy right on to the cup. I'm gonna try to do this as quickly as I can, just get a thin layer on there. I know it's gonna go in and out of focus while my hand is back and forth in the way. Just bear with me for a second while I get this thing slathered in epoxy.
just going to feel all the way around the cup, all the way around the top edge, make sure that I have it completely covered, and then on the bottom. Being thorough on this part means that you're not going to have any bald spots when you go to drop your glitter. If you don't make sure that you have full coverage before you start dropping glitter on it, then you're going to have some little naked patches. Those can be fixed later as well, but it's better to make sure ahead of time than have to go back and fix problems. Okay. I pulled paper out so it would be handy. So I always lay one paper down first before I lay my glitter paper down. And that's because some epoxy did get on the mat underneath. This paper prevents it from sticking when I try to pull it out. So when I try to get my glitter off of my paper, I don't um, sling it across the room because it's stuck. I don't need to tell you how many times I've actually done that exact thing to know better. So this is the mixture I told you guys about. This is Circe, Rhea, and Iris all mixed together. I'm going to go ahead and just start sprinkling that right onto the cup. And I'll just keep sprinkling as it turns until all the glitter is emptied out of my cup. And then I'll pick up that paper and dump it back in and do it again. I like to keep sprinkling for just a few minutes the first go around just so I can make sure that I have completely full coverage. Okay, so like I said, I'm going to take that paper that was catching all of my glitter and I'm going to keep going. I'm going to sprinkle it again. So what I think I do need here is you guys are just not getting a good view of this glitter and it's bugging me. Let's see if I can perch this in such a way that you guys can get a little bit better lighting on that cup. Okay, so I'm going to go again. I'm just going to sprinkle all over the cup making sure that I get full coverage. You know, this part is exhilarating, isn't it? It's the most fun you're ever going to have during a tutorial. <laughs> okay, I'm dumping the excess back in here. And then I'm going to do the bottom. 
for the bottom, I use one of these super wide popsicle sticks. And I just get, I get some glitter right on the end of the popsicle stick and I just blow it on there. You end up with glitter everywhere, but you get a fully covered bottom without like breaking your cup turner by trying to flip it around and get the bottom glittered. Okay. Now this camera, in, unfortunately, isn't doing this glitter justice. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to post a video of it with um, with completion so you guys can actually see it a little bit better than what this camera is showing you. Because for those of you that have Cersei, Iris, Rhea, you have them in your possession, you know that it's like so much prettier than what you're seeing on this camera. <laughs> All right, so that's the first step there. The three mixed glitters, putting them down on a white painted base, letting this cure. So this one's gonna get set aside now, and I'm gonna move the cured one over for us to do the next step. Bear with me here while I rotate turners around. like musical chairs for my turners. You can kind of see that one a little bit better. See how there's like that green and then kind of purple shift. You can see it here. There's not as much light. Okay. Ooh, that shouldn't have been so difficult. Is it this one? This one. Toning down the light just a little bit so that it's not washing out the cup, but you guys can still see what's going on. All right, so this is the same process that I just showed you guys sprinkling the glitter on, but this is after the epoxy has cured. So now this guy is going to need a coat of epoxy, and this is where we're going to add the bears. So I'm going to show you how we do that. I'm going to mix up another batch of epoxy really quick. And I am going to be using the quick coat for this coat as well because this is the middle coat this isn't the final coat let me flip you guys up here hi hello again okay i'm going to try to mix this this second batch here without over pouring so i'm going to get way down here where I can see, see really well. Okay, got one side. The epoxy I'm using right now is the Fast Set Epoxy from Counterculture DIY, which all of those details I will put into the description of the video after we're done with the live. All right. So I got my epoxy, got my little cup here. I'll chit chat with you guys while I'm mixing up the epoxy. How about that? Oh, we're losing our top here. <laughs> All right, so I'm just big, uh, pouring in the epoxy from the little cups I just measured into one cup together. Let 
wondering if I can flip you guys so you can see both things that I'm doing. How about that? All right. Um, Cheryl, my turner is actually from a business on Etsy that is closed right now. It's a 3D printed turner, but yes, it is made from a motor from a barbecue rotisserie. Tried and true. Now my hand's all up in the way, but you guys, all I'm doing is scooping epoxy out of a little medicine cup. I try to keep my hands out of the way when I'm showing you detailed stuff. <laughs> it's not always easy. It's really hard, actually, to get an appropriate setup to where you guys can see what I'm doing without my hands getting in the way. Okay, so I have those dumped in. I'm gonna mix this up. I'm gonna try to mix this kind of slowly to prevent as much bubbles as I can. Normally I just whip my epoxy up like I'm baking cookies or something, like making whipped cream, beaten eggs, but I really want to be careful this go around because I don't want to have to torch it too much because it is fast set and torching it speeds up the cure time. Hello in New York. Cheryl, there are tons, tons, including one that my husband made, tons of YouTube videos on how to build a cup turner. Uh, they're referred to as cup tisseries, cup rotisseries. Like, there are so many videos on YouTube. I would suggest, if you're going to do it yourself, that you watch like 10 different videos and take something from each of those videos in the build because everybody does something a little different and you'll find what works best for you. Okay, so I'm really trying to like mix this carefully. I do have some bubbles, but those I can pop easily. Make sure I got a good mix here. The last thing I want is unproperly mixed epoxy. Okay. So this entire cup is going to get a layer of epoxy on it. And then I'm going to show you guys how I add the bears. Okay, so let me get this epoxy on. And I only need a thin layer on this, just enough to coat the glitter. I don't really like to do super duper thick layers unless I'm doing a flood coat. That way I can make sure that I'm controlling how thick my tumbler gets. Sometimes you don't need extra layers. Sometimes you do. So I'm gonna just smooth the epoxy out over this entire cup. And I'm doing the top first and then I'll move down to the bottom. That way I can just make sure I have full coverage and I'm not going all over everywhere. Thank you. 
I'm trying to make sure that I'm not moving the epoxy over the places where the glitter is raised too aggressively because that also creates micro bubbles. So if I feel a spot on here with my finger where the glitter is sticking up just a little bit, I kind of like just like tap the epoxy down onto it rather than the back and forth motion that you see in other places. And that really helps contain some of the micro bubble issues that you guys might end up having. Okay, so usually when you're adding an accent glitter, like as an ombre at the bottom, you would just sprinkle it on, right? The reason why I did the whole cup in glitter and now I'm doing a coat of epoxy on top and this is when we're gonna add the bears is because with the bears, you need to be a little bit more strategic in order for them to look right. You can just sprinkle them on the cup. That is not a problem at all. But with this design, I kind of wanted the bears to be scattered down at the bottom and I want a decal up top. So I want to have more control over where they land. Now with the mess up cup, it's, an, it's not a mess up, it's an intentional mess up so I can show you guys how things work in different ways. What I did is I just kind of started sprinkling the bears on, just grabbing a hold of them and tossing them down. And what doesn't really work well about that is it's a wide surface glitter, you guys. These bears are a wide surface glitter. So they're gonna stick together a little bit more and when you try to sprinkle them down, they're gonna wanna stay best friends. So then you end up with like four or five of them clumped up in one spot. And that doesn't always give you that really clean end result that you were going for. With the wide surface glitters, you can also run into repelling issues where your epoxy wants to repel away <laughs> from the glitter. And I'm gonna show you how to best troubleshoot that right now. Okay, so I have a thin layer of epoxy on the entire cup. I'm gonna take this epoxy glove off. So I have a little cup here of 91% isopropyl alcohol. I have a pair of little pointy tweezers. And then I have my cup that has the remainder of my epoxy in it. We are actually having our wedding this year. Now I'm gonna take these little guys here and instead of just sprinkling them on, I'm actually gonna take my tweezers and I need a more shallow cup for this because I don't wanna be reaching in like that. So I'm gonna dump these guys into a littler cup. Okay, so I'm literally gonna go in and I'm gonna grab which bears I want. I know this is a little tedious, you guys, but I'm telling you, in the long run, this is gonna be better. So this is one of the Aurora bears. And I'm gonna dip him right into the epoxy and then I'm just gonna place him right on the cup. And I'm gonna keep repeating this. I'm just gonna grab bears and I'm gonna drop them on the cup. Now you can actually dump some bears into your epoxy if you want to, and then just fish them out. That works too. I just wouldn't recommend stirring your epoxy with the bears in it because that makes more bubbles in there. So I have some little bears I just dropped into the epoxy. And this way you can actually decide which way you want them facing. You don't end up with upside down bears. This is gonna get them nice and coated in their own little epoxy bath. So it'll help with the repelling.
All right, so I'm gonna see if I can't speed this up for you guys. The reason I have the alcohol is because that is how I'm gonna clean the tweezers when I'm done. I'm gonna drop them right into that cup of alcohol. Boom. We're just throwing bears down. I actually want a few more of the the alcohol is used to clean the tweezers. So as soon as I'm done, I'm gonna plop my tweezers down into that alcohol. That way they don't get epoxy cured on them. So I just dropped some of the Aurora Bears in there because I have enough of the silver ones. I only wanted a few silver ones for accents. Get on there. All right, so this is how you get your bears on there without having any major hangups. They still may give you a little bit of grief, but I'm gonna show you how to fix that in the next step. If you just sprinkle them on, they're gonna be all over the place. If that's the look you want, there's nothing wrong with that. And if I reach in and I come up with a few of them that are stuck together, I'm using the side of the cup. I don't know if you can tell or not. I'm using the side of the cup to put them on and separate them so I can just grab one. Just like that. So I have all my little bears are swimming in here. I'm going to keep doing this here until I have a fair amount of little bears on here so you guys can see how this goes. So I have one there. One there, move him over here. So I had three that were grouped together there. I just literally set one down and then moved over and set the other one down. I like using the tweezers for this because I like being in control of where the bears go. Okay, so that is how I would recommend applying them to give you the least amount of trouble in the long run. I just put my tweezers in the alcohol like I said I was going to. You can also go right in. Take some of these. I would put them in your hand and spread them out. See, aren't they so cute? And you can literally just drop them right on if you're not worried about them being right side up or upside down or facing any kind of way. Putting them in your hand first allows you to kind of break them up if you don't get them in epoxy. So if you're wanting just a little bit more and you're wanting to do it kind of quickly. What's gonna happen if you do it this way is the top of your bear is not gonna be covered in epoxy. That's okay. I'm gonna show you the next step. So I am using some of the alcohol on a paper towel to wipe off my hands and make sure that I have any epoxy residue off of my hands. It does not want to focus on there, does it? That's okay. We're moving to the next cup. Clean cup, move down.
and this is the trouble cup. So I'm going to show you guys how to fix it after the fact, and we're going to apply the decal. Green cup, move down. Okay, so you spent all this time applying your glitter, applying your bears, making it all pretty, and then you come back and look at it the next day. Come on now, focus for me. Here, let me see if I can take this off. Uh oh. You come back to this and you see that you have a lot of pieces of glitter where the epoxy rejected. It's covering everything else, but over these large surface glitters, you have rejection, okay? Let me show you how I fix that. So the first thing that I do is I make sure that the cup itself, now I've already done this on this cup, but I'm going to do it again for show shows, show's sake, is I do clean it with the 91% isopropyl, the alcohol, and I make sure that I clean off any of the spots of the glitter that are exposed. You can do that with a lint-free cloth, with the Q-tip, with whatever you see fit. You just want to make sure that any places that are exposed and not under epoxy, you clean off any potential oils or debris, okay? And then we're going to take a little bit of this guy, the quick coat from Counterculture DIY. And even though I planned ahead, I still managed to not grab a paintbrush. <laughs> and I need a paintbrush. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to put a little bit of the quick coat into a little medicine cup here. I'm, I don't need very much, just a little tiny bit. And I'm going to put the lid back on it because I'm notorious for knocking things over. So what I'm gonna do now is, I'm gonna turn this guy on. I'm gonna take my paintbrush and I'm not gonna get a ton of this on there. I'm gonna dip it in so that my brush is fully saturated, but then I'm gonna scrape it off on the inside here so that it's not like super, super wet. And then I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna just brush that right over any of the bears that aren't coated in epoxy. That way you don't have to use a bunch of the quick coat to coat the entire cup. You're just gonna use it to coat the little bears that are being troublesome or the big pieces of glitter that are giving you a hard time, whatever it may be. Now the quick coat does take about 20 minutes or so to dry. So you do want to let it dry thoroughly before you go in to apply your next coat of epoxy. And I have some on the bottom too. So I'm going to make sure I get those coated. And just on the last pass, I'm just taking a really good look and making sure that any of the areas that are exposed, you get a little touch of the quick coat. It's really warm in my room, so it's already drying. This is good. This is really good. Okay. So once you've taken your quick coat and you've kind of touched all your little pieces of glitter that are exposed that the epoxy repelled from, make sure that you clean your brush right away because if you don't, then it's garbage. 
let that dry, and then you can put your next coat of epoxy on. So because it's just little brushes on there, I don't need this one spinning, but I am going to do the decal. And anyone else would have already had their transfer tape cut, but that's the one thing that I forgot to do. I pulled it out and I didn't cut my little piece off. Sorry, guys. Okay, so the decal that I'm putting on this is just a silver holographic, which is going to bring out the little silver bears. It says Mama Bear. And I got this particular one I just got from the Silhouette Studio. Or no, Etsy, I'm sorry. I got this one from Etsy. If you go to Etsy and you search Mama Bear SBG, it's one of the first few that pop up. And the vinyl, is a silver holographic from Tech Wrap. So let's see, is that where I want it? So you've got to kind of canvas your cup a little bit and see where you want to stick your decal. You know how it goes, picking the perfect side. Oh, nope, there's a bit right there. Okay, so it looks like I was on the perfect side. I should have left well enough alone. There we go. <laughs> That's where the decal needs to be. Hello, hello. Okay. So I'm going to just place this here. I'm eyeballing it. This cup didn't have a completely smooth coat of epoxy on it before I did the decal, but that's gonna be what your job is, is making sure that you're smooth before you decal it. <laughs> okay. Bum, bum, bum. There we have it. Let me take this off of here. So this is gonna get another coat of epoxy. Since we did the quick coat over the bears to cover any blemishes there, and then we have the here. I need like 20 feet more of more space here. You guys see the decal there? So that's the mama bear decal. There's some silver holographic bears down at the bottom that just don't want to show up to play right now. And again, you guys, th this particular cup is the one that I did to show you if it does end up getting all chunky and messed up, what to do to repair it before you do your final coat of epoxy. So the other one that I did where I dipped the bears and stuck them on, that's going to be much smoother, this guy. It's going to be much smoother and cleaner looking than this guy. This one's a hot mess because I wanted to show you how it looks if you just dump your bears on there. This one's going to be a little bit more clean and neat. So let's see here. And of course, these cameras that I have aren't picking up the colors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to post to the Facebook group, the Feather Bear Bling Facebook group. So if you're not already in that group, go ahead and request to join. Make sure you answer the questions because it makes it easier. 
And I will post updated videos in there that show more true to the colors so you guys can see them. I don't make it easy for you to see the bears too because I know this camera is like, there's no bears on that cup. What are you talking about? They're there, I promise, and they're super adorable. So, all right, guys, that's going to conclude the process as is. That's like the start to finish, all except for the last final coat of epoxy. Uh, hopefully, this gives you some inspiration and you guys will start snatching up those bear glitters because I'm dying to see some creative things done with the bears. Like, hello, feather bear. Like, I want to see bear stuff. Give me the bear stuff, guys. So if you don't know our website, it is featherbeardesigns.com. I will post all the links in the description once this is all said and done. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate all of you. And I'm going to be waiting on those tags, okay? <laughs>